Ta, another day of making these stupid air videos. Let's get to it, then start smashing those items. Yes, boss. Why did Windows 6 hate Windows 7? Because Windows 7 hate 9. <laughs> Windows does not approve of you waving your floppy in front of the screen. Stop touching your flop. We interrupt Windows 7 for an important software update. Here, we know you're cooking the turkey, but this is a mandatory update. Stop cooking and start updating. Why the absolute fuck would I want to install fucking Windows updates on my fucking turkey, you cunts? Three reasons, actually. One, the updates improve the cooking performance of the turkey. Two, the updates fix a problem that may result in the turkey tasting like burnt turnips mixed with creamed corn and cabbage. Three, fuck you, that's why. Well, happy fucks giving to you. And I already fuck you all for making me run window. We interrupt your pointless browsing for an important ad. This interruption brought to you by the door-to-door -door intercontinental ballistic missile salesman. His merchandise will just blow your mind. Along with the entire city, but who cares? Shut up. Hi, I'm the Ballistic Boom Boy here for Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. The fast and easy way to totally annihilate your enemies, guaranteed. Even if your sworn enemy is on the other side of the planet, your very own ICBM means you're just 15 minutes away from giving your sworn enemy a truly mind blowing experience. Don't delay, order your very own ICBM right now and we'll triple the offer. That's right, three Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles for the price of one. Order right now. Warning, please read the instruction manual before firing ballistic missiles. Please refrain from firing your ballistic missiles at unintended targets. Side effects of ICBM. Issues include mass destruction, nuclear hellfire, radiation sickness, blindness, mutations, 69 different types of cancer, and massive global from nuclear war resulting in the end of civilization, as we know it. Contact your local arms dealer to see if intercontinental ballistic missiles are right for you. Tip of the day. Do not die. Dying is the leading cause of death. Why should we not embrace the sweet comfort of nothingness? We are all cogs in a machine, performing the same damn things day after day until... Like Windows, our bodies experience a fatal error and that's all she wrote. Escaping our mortal coil is a futile effort. No one will be spared from the deathly hand of the Grim Reaper. Well, no one, except the goddamn Microsoft Sam. Please enjoy the prospect of dying to one of an infinite number of the human body's vulnerabilities. <laughs> You just won five free hours of America online. Click below to start browsing the web on your super ultra supreme high speed dial up modem. Oh my god, I can't believe I won five hours of free internet. <laughs> Windows can't seem to locate your pumpkin pie recipe. How about a plutonium pie recipe instead? Plutonium pie, eh? I haven't had plutonium pie since that whole thing in 1991. We were all out of pumpkin by that Thanksgiving, and the next best thing instead of pumpkin was plutonium. So I infiltrated the Soviet Union, while disguised as a plastic spoon, and met up with my Soviet counterpart, Micro-Soviet Sergei, and together we infiltrated Chernobyl and grabbed enough plutonium to blow up the moon. But that Micro-Soviet bastard Sergei tried to backstab me and deport me to the Gulag, so I baked him a plutonium by and his insides exploded in a nuclear explosion so powerful it accidentally caused the collapse of the entire Soviet Union. And that's how the Cold War actually ended. Thank you for listening to the goddamn Microsoft Sam's fully accurate history lesson. Actually, the Cold War ended because of a multitude of political and economic facts. Ow, 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 ow. You shut your whore mouth when the goddamn Microsoft Sam teaches history. The trash bin is full. Please remove your ex from the trash bin. Sam, you stupid son of a bitch. You should give one of this fucking trash bin. You're the one who's sitting on you with that Linux server. That fucking Shut up, shut up, shut up, throw away the entire trash bin right fuckity fuck fucking now. <laughs> Your brand new state-of-the-art graphics card has arrived. Made entirely out of Lego. 30-90 pieces. Have fun. A graphics card has failed in Lego City. Start a new 30-90. Hey! This stupid joke is years out of date. Build the 30-90. And off to the new computer. 
install the card, overclock the hardware, and play the games in 4K. A new 3090 from Lano Computer. Dr. Google has determined you have a swollen big toe. In other words, cancer. Hold still, this will only take a moment. Bitch I just stubbed my toe it's not funky fuck fucking cancer. Bullshit. Dr. Google is never wrong. A dull headache means you have stage 4 brain cancer. Stomach pain means you are about to have a brain aneurysm in the middle of stage 4 brain cancer. An ingrown toenail means you are having a stroke while having a brain aneurysm in the middle of stage 4 brain cancer. No matter what, it's always cancer. And before you know it, your cancer has cancer. Now listen to Dr. Google. No, you listen to Dr. Goddamn Microsoft Sam, who has diagnosed Dr. Google with electromagnetic pulse exposure. <laughs> Have some pie for dessert. Yummy, I could use a good slice of pie after reading all these stupid air. Desert, not dessert. Get it? <laughs> I hate dry humor. Type, sudo, install Linux and abandon Windows forever. Do it, coward. Go to Elf the Communist Linux and win scum I will never praise Tux I would rather install Windows 11 than ever install Linux you bitch 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 bitch. You can't escape the Communist Linux and win on me. Not even Scottish and drummers can keep Linux away forever. In fact, as a way to give thanks, please enjoy this free copy of Linux. I heard it's really sucky. God fucking damn it, not this 2009 shit again. Oh no, there is a really sucky flavor of Linux, and I am going to end win in 5, 4, tux, tux minus 1, 9069, potato. Windows Vista is the greatest version of Windows 0. I saw your first DFO, your rookie, I'll be your first year, and for your rookie, your lawyer, 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 your Fourteen years. Fourteen years of Windows errors from Atom Smasher. It really cannot be understated just how important Atom Smasher was to the text-to-speech community. It is hard to believe that, unless Atom Smasher makes a miraculous comeback, this is likely the last time I will be reading Atom Smasher error messages. If this is truly the last time, then it is only fitting we return to the beginning. Your computer hates Internet Explorer. It will now be promptly deleted. Go ahead, it's a piece of dump anyway. Firefox for the win. Godspeed, Adam Smasher. Godspeed.